Former Secretary of Labor Robert Reich has a message for Donald Trump. Last night on CNN, he addressed the president-elect directly, calling him out for his social media attacks on American citizens. Watch. Let me just say, because Donald Trump is probably watching right now, let me just say, with all due respect, Mr. Trump, you are our president-elect of the United States. You are looking and acting as if you are mean and petty, thin-skinned and vindictive. Stop this. This is not a fireside chat. This is not what FDR did. That's, this isn't lifting people up. This is actually penalizing people for speaking their minds. Well, filmmaker Michael Moore is following Reich's lead, tweeting, quote, Hey, at Real Donald Trump, in one hour on Seth Meyers' NBC show, I will look directly into the camera and speak to you. Don't miss it. Here to talk more about this is Brett Voorhees. He's the president of Indiana's AFL-CIO. He joins us now via Skype. Uh, thanks for being with us, sir. How you doing? Good, good. Thanks for having me. I think you got a phone ringing back there, but let's try to get through this. Um, the president-elect is using a very public forum to go after private individuals, including, of course, Chuck Jones, who leads a union at the carrier plant in Indianapolis. Now, Mr. Jones has now received death threats based off of these tweets that the president-elect has launched. Uh, what is your reaction to these attacks? Well, I, I think that, I mean, for one is, is first, of, first and foremost, I want to um, thank President-elect Trump for, for saving the jobs that, um, that, that are going to be staying here um, in Indiana. Um, but, um, you know, uh, our local union president, Chuck Jones, who called out President Trump, um, I believe it was in the Washington Post, um, is what started all this Twitter um, um, chat that's going on right now. And um, basically, it's, it's very sad to see that our president-elect is uh, basically doing cyber bullying. Um, and you would maybe expect that from, from other folks, but being the chief and commander, um, it's just unbelievable that, that he would actually stoop to cyber bullying. You believe that the president-elect is being a cyber bully? Yes, I do. I mean, you know, anybody who's going to attack a worker, somebody who wakes up every single day and makes pennies for what he does and all the hours that he puts in for decades now to wake up every day and help workers and, and wake up and say, okay, what am I going to do for my membership today? You know, how am I going to get them better wages? How am I going to get them better health care? How am I going to get them good retirement, be able to retire with dignity? And uh, Chuck Jones is nothing but a blue collar worker who has been um, a, a, a man for the for the working people for a number of years now and does not deserve to be bullied around by President elect Trump like he has been. And in fact, uh, Mr. Voorhees, uh, the president elect uh, also tweeted if United Steelworkers 1999 was any good, they would have kept those jobs in Indiana. He's talking about the jobs that he was able, I guess, to save, spend more time working less time talking reduce dues your reaction right yeah yeah, yeah. i mean basically I, I i look at it as he's putting workers down um for the production that they've done i mean you know these jobs that are going to mexico is no fault of their own that's for sure um it's nothing but corporate greed that's what it's all about it's about lower wages um that's what it was about in the beginning and that's what it's about now i mean you know we not only have um several hundred jobs still going to Mexico from Carrier, but the plant that I came out of and the plant that President Jones came out of um, two miles up the road is also packing up um, Rexnord and, and moving to announce that they're moving to Mexico as well. President-elect Trump in his campaign for the last year and a half, he uh, went, went all over the United States talking about how he's gonna save jobs, keep manufacturing in the U.S., and, and make sure that on his watch, this isn't going to happen. Jobs aren't going to be offshore. If he has to put tariffs, that's what he's going to do. Um, you know, he can, he can bully around companies, but he's not going to bully around our unions and our workers. And we should point out uh, that Chuck Jones, the president of the United Steelworkers, um, has said that he doesn't have a problem with Mr. Trump. He just wants him to be accurate about the number of jobs he's actually saving. Uh, I want to ask you one last question, sir, about – sorry, sir. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, yeah, that's exactly right. And, and I got to tell you, I mean, you know, I, I was brought up in a family where, 
where where we don't uh, we don't put each other down and and brought up in, in in a union family but also you know whether you like your leadership or not you pray for your leaders and you hope that your leader you hope well um, you know and the same thing goes for for president elect trump uh, you know i pray for him and i hope that he does well for the country and when he does take office on january the 20th i hope he does the right things and I hope he does in, in implement policy to try and keep these jobs from going offshore. Uh, sir, before we let you go, we got 30 seconds. I want to ask you about President-elect Trump's uh, cabinet pick, specifically his selection for Labor Secretary, Andy Putzer. He's repeatedly battled with unions as a fast food CEO. He's a major proponent of automation. What's your reaction to that pick? Well, unfortunately, it's not going to be Chuck Jones is the pick, we know. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I really don't know a whole lot. Um, I haven't been watching, um, been able to watch the news much lately. I don't know a whole lot about the gentleman who he is, is, is thinking about or has picked for Secretary of Labor. Um, you know, whoever it is, you know, that's the president's choice. That's who he's going to pick, and that's who we're going to work with. All right. President of Indiana's AFL-CIO, Brett Voorhees, thank you so much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right.